Tammy and I have always had a pretty unique tradition. It is the one pillar that our entire friendship has been built on for all these years. No matter how mad we are, no matter how bad the argument, we always have to forgive each other with popcorn. Caramel, white cheddar, or even classic butter, any kind works. The most recent argument is just another bump in the road. Though I'm not exactly sure why she's so mad. It doesn't matter though, we'll be fine. We always are. We've been best friends for like 14 years of our lives, and we've always kept this tradition alive. Our parents were the ones who started it, giving us popcorn when we were little to satiate our hangry attitudes towards each other. It's only progressed from there, being a simple solution to toy-based jealousy, bad sportsmanship, petty rumors, boy problems, and now this. Although, I don't really know what this is right now. Whatever, seven times a charm. you here? I have popcorn. You've got to be kidding me. Take five. What's going on? Tammy! Tammy, come on. Why are you acting like this? I don't understand. You've been ignoring my popcorn. Did you forget what it means? I don't want to talk to you right now, and I really don't care about your stupid popcorn. I don't care that you don't care. Why are you being so difficult? I'm being difficult? Do you even know what you're apologizing for? Jesus. Can't you just tell me? I don't remember what I did wrong. It would be easier for the both of us if you just explained. No way you're acting like I'm being the unreasonable one. You exposed me to the entire school, but I'm the one in the wrong? That's what you're mad about? I was trying to help you. Help? Your idea of help is telling everyone we know about my private business? They needed to know. I didn't want him to do the same thing to them. He's completely in the wrong. He needs to be exposed for his actions. Obviously he was wrong. That's not what this is about. You betrayed me and told everyone we know. Everyone knows. He probably thinks I'm the one telling people. What if he comes after me? Do you want that? I'd protect you. That's what best friends are for. A real best friend wouldn't betray me like that. Do you not care about trust? Privacy? Loyalty? Okay, I'm sorry. Can't you just take the popcorn? This is what makes us unique. We always forgive each other. I'm sorry, but the popcorn won't cut it this time. I understand you're mad. This isn't about me. It's about him. He wronged you. He raped me. You wronged me. You don't get it. This is not about him. I don't want to talk to him anymore. I don't want to see him anymore. It's about you. He's a bad person. We know that. But you were supposed to be different. I'm sorry. Really. You know I never do anything to wrong you. 14 years and this I've is I've told it. you things that I have never told anyone. I've shown you things, given you things, and trusted you with things that I would probably take to my grave. I've told you something in my most vulnerable moment, and you betrayed that. So no, popcorn won't fix this. I don't think anything will. Really? Yeah. I've excused a lot, but we are too old, too mature. You never take accountability for your problems, and some things just can't be brushed over. I can't even look at you the same anymore. Are you really ready to throw everything away over this? I am. We can get through this. I know it. I love you. Not this time. I can't do it anymore. Hi. I'll be waiting if you ever want to talk again. Don't bother. No more broken premises. No more unique apologies. I'm done.